The mothers of the children who died in an abandoned car in the Badagri area of Lagos are still grieving over their losses. The parents recounted a terrible experience uh, to say that there is more to their deaths than meets the eye. Plus TV Africa's Destiny Momo reports. It is understandable that because this case is under investigation, the compound is under lock and key by the Nigerian police for further investigation. This visit to Adelayo Street in Jamaica bus stop along Badagri Expressway seemed endless but very revealing. We spoke to some of the victims' parents who could not hold back tears. With deep emotions, the mothers pour out their hearts. If you don't say children, now some people they want the light to say children enter car three days, they're not finding. I don't say three o'clock, my picking the inside parlor, they play. Come here, they go fine. Now do like four o'clock, if four don't knock, now my, 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 I can't wake. I can't they call them. Don't come back for around two o'clock for little. Now I don't come outside. Go play for my neighbor's side. Around two, three, around four. My children don't die for them, Mama, how come? The women are of the opinion that their children have never gone to their locations of death to play, wondering what could have happened on that fateful day. They are convinced that their children were killed. Judging by the states, they saw the kids who were left with foamy noses and mouth. Inside my mind, don't kill my children. Don't just come out and blow. If you all the children come white, something, white something, then they'll come out for the inside the mouth or the nose. Then kill them. Seven picking. The red chop, two, come on aside. Four, three, four. Seven picking don't die. What did I give them? Don't go ask them now. What did I give them? All of them don't die. Another eyewitness, Helen Oketayo, claimed she and her tenant were accused and wrongly implicated for helping the situation. And said, Yeah, well, all the children they have died. I said, Children. And I run into my own company. I called all my tenants. We now run down to that Elijah's compound. We saw the eight children lying on the floor. We don't know what happened. We saw them lying on the floor. We started pouring them water, tried to rescue them. Only one of the child respond. And I tell my tenant, say, go and bring your vehicle and come and rush this one to the clinic. That is how my tenant brought his vehicle and rushed that boy to the clinic. Now they said you are a suspect. More disturbing was finding out that these children have been laid to rest by Muslim rights without proper autopsy. The defense of the parents, a lack of financial and government support, claiming a hundred thousand naira was needed per child for autopsy. Destiny Mama for Plus TV Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.